my Twa. Hello, my name is Mickey, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how I wash my brushes. My makeup brushes are in need of a deep clean. I will be going on a trip later on this week, and I felt that it was time to just clean my brushes, and I figured I'd show you guys how I do it. I will be showing a few methods how I wash my brushes. The first method is how I clean my lightly dirty brushes, my brushes that aren't that dirty, English. The other ones will be for like deep cleaning, you know, like when you have a foundation brush that looks like this. So if you're interested in seeing how I clean my makeup brushes, then just stay tuned. All right, so I got my little setup here and I got my dirty brushes right here in their little holder. Now my brushes aren't that dirty, but I do need to clean them before my trip. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now the first thing you're gonna need is just a little container. I like to use this for just about everything. All you need is something that's gonna hold the water and the soap. It could be a bowl, it could be a Tupperware, it doesn't matter. The next thing you're gonna need is one of these guys or anything with grooves to wash your brushes with. I'll leave some links down below of where you can get them. And the last thing you're going to need is the Dr. Brunner's cast style soap. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take this little guy right here, you're gonna fill it with water and we're gonna put a couple drops of these. All right, so first we're gonna take that container and we're gonna fill it with water. I'm just going to fill it about halfway. I'm going to take the Dr. Broner's cast style soap and I'm going to add, this stuff is so concentrated, you only wanna add just a little bit. So a couple of drops is enough. Like that right there is enough. <laughs> just kind of mix that in there and you're gonna see it turns, it's not clear anymore. All right, so you wanna take this and you kinda just wanna set it aside for now. The first brush I always wash is my buffing brush for foundation. I have to change this soon and one way to tell when you need to change your brushes is by spreading your brush and looking towards the base of your brushes. When I say the base, I mean the ferrule, which is this thing right here. If you guys notice, there is a lot of foundation residue left in, like deep in my brushes. That is one way to tell when your brushes need to be replaced because no matter how many times you wash them, all the way down near the ferrule is going to be dirty. You're gonna see dead skin. You're gonna see little white dots. You're gonna see all kinds of nasty shit in there. So I know that after this is clean, after I take it on my trip, I have to dispose of this and get a new brush. Now, if I were to show you this brush right here, which doesn't get used very often, it's actually clean. I haven't used it since I washed it. If you look, the inside of the bristles are very clean. There's no white residue or anything like that inside. It looks brand spanking new. So that's how you want your bristles to look. Now opposed to this one, which is not brand new, you can definitely tell the difference of how deep the color of the foundation goes. You see that? The bristles are not black. They're like a tint. They have all that foundation on them right there. Basically, the brush that needs to be replaced is going to be dirty no matter what, even if you wash it, and that's the point that I'm trying to make. All right, so let's get into cleaning these brushes. Now, one tip for washing your brushes is you always wanna keep the bristles facing down or like this, but you never want your bristles facing up. There is glue inside the ferrule right here, which is what holds the bristles inside the brush. So when water seeps through into the ferrule, it'll weaken the glue inside and you're gonna start to have shedding of your brush. You don't want that. This brush I have had for probably four years, five years now. I've cleaned it really good. And brushes like this, you can keep for years on end if you take care of them. Like this one I have taken care of. I wash my brushes at least once a month. I know you're supposed to wash them at least once every two to three weeks, but I don't wear makeup every day, so I feel like I can get away with washing them once a month. So let's get into washing these. I'm gonna take my cup of soap, and I'm literally just gonna dab the tips of the brush in there and get this coated. Do you see that? You can already see the color kind of fading. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little bristle cleaner or whatever you wanna call this. So I'm just gonna go back and forth just like this round in circles, up and down, side to side, whatever you wanna do. All right, so since mine is not lathering, that means I didn't put enough soap. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Dr. Broner's. Let's see if that'll do the trick. All right, now we finally got a little bit of lather, a little bit of bubbles, and you're gonna see all that gunk start to fall off. I will clean my brush several times just because I'm a little OCD with my brushes plus these go on your face. So what I like to do afterwards, of course, remember not to turn it up, you can turn it sideways. I like to squeeze all the stuff out. Now I am very brutal with my brushes. The way I determine a good brush is when I'm cleaning them. Now I am very rough with my brushes. I will sit here and squeeze the shit out of the bristles and try to get all the gunk out. Now, when I'm squeezing the bristles and I'm pulling and I see a hair, your brush probably sucks, in my opinion. These brushes, I can tug, I can pull, and nothing has happened to them. Not a single hair, I'm, I'm not even kidding, not a single hair has left this BS Mall brush. So I'm gonna use the flat of my hand, and I'm just gonna do this to clean it just a little bit. And you're gonna see that the color has left the brush, but it's still not clean. And another easy way to tell is just by squeezing it, and the color, of course, is not clear. Now, this foundation brush, like I said, is very, very old, so there's lots of oil, there's lots of gunky shit inside the bristles. So cleaning this several times may not help at this point. Now, another thing, if you don't have one of these, you can always use your nails, it's what I used to do. You can use your nails just like this, but make sure your hands are clean. Make sure your nails are clean if you have long nails. And you can use the back of your nails or your knuckles. Now with the Dr. Broner's, because it is so concentrated, you really, really want to wash this thoroughly. You want to get all the soap because it will make your bristles stiffen when they're dry. So whenever that happens, it's going to be yucky when you put it on your face. It's going to be really hard, really stiff, and you don't want that to happen to you. You want to make sure you get all of the soap out of the brush. Now I'm going to show another method on how to clean the brushes. What you're going to need extra is a dropper. So if you have a dropper at home, then that's great. I have so many laying around from essential oil. So I'm just going to take a couple of drops in here. And I'm just gonna leave the cap off and I'm gonna have this sitting right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set that aside. You wanna take this guy right here, place your fingers inside. All right, so this time I went ahead and added two to three drops on this. That's another way you can do that. And you're gonna get more of a lather. Like I said, because this stuff is so concentrated, you have to be careful and you have to make sure that it is off the bristles entirely or your brushes will get stiff now as you can see look at that look at how white it is but when I squeeze it you're gonna see some icky colors because that is your foundation that has seeped into the bristles so now I'm going to rinse look how clean that is it almost looks brand new but when you squeeze it you're gonna see this milky color come out so that means there's still soap on it For me, this brush is considered clean. When I squeeze it, nothing else comes out, and it is a little stained. I mean, this brush is almost five years old, so it's gonna be a little stained. Another way to tell if you actually still have soap on this is when you go back and forth like this, it's still kind of stiff. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wash your brush again. So I'm gonna squeeze it out, and now I have a clean foundation brush. So when you're drying the brush, you never want to dry it facing up. You always want to dry it facing down or like I have here, I have my towel. So I'm just going to take the brush and just lay it down on the towel here. Usually I'll lay all my brushes, take them to my room and they will dry there for one to two days. One other thing you can do is if you have a drying rack or even just a hanger and some rubber bands, you can always tie this part to the hanger to have them dry facing down, which that way any of the water that has seeped inside the bristles near the ferrule will then kind of make its way down and that way it'll be able to dry properly on the inside as well. 
So next I'm gonna show you guys how to clean kind of like a fluffy brush like this. I mean, this is just my regular blush brush. And as you can see, it has really nice soft bristles and kind of a round shape to it. And so we're gonna do the same thing for this that we did with the foundation brush. So for this, I'm gonna take my soapy water that I had earlier and I'm just going to drench this thing. You're gonna take your scrubber and scrub. Now with fluffy brushes, when you do this, you're kind of messing up the bristles in the middle. So what I like to do is I like to just take three of my fingers, like you're about to pinch with all three, and just hold it like a pencil and scrub. Now this is a little hard to see, so let me do this angle. You're just basically gonna hold it like a pencil, but you wanna support the lower part of the bristles, which is right here, not the white part, but the brown and you're just going to do this. You're gonna go around, side to side, up and down. So you're just gonna rinse it off just like this, just like we did with the other, and same palm of the hand. Now you don't wanna push your brush into your hand, you just kinda of wanna do the tips. I'm going to squeeze like I do with all my brushes, but this one, because it's a little longer, I'm just gonna squeeze like this. So as you can see, this brush is very, very white, very clean. The inside is very, very clean as well because it is a newer brush. Just remember when you're washing any brushes that have long bristles like this, or it's a fluffy brush, you always wanna support the bottom and you wanna wash this part. So that is my clean, fluffy blush brush. Now next, I'm gonna do this guy right here. This thing is coated, as you can see, it's supposed to be white or it was white. Now I have a little bit left here from washing the blush brush. So I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and just dip it in the water. And we're gonna take our little scrubby here and just scrub and look at all that nastiness falling off of the brush. Now we're going to wash the brush off. Same thing, palm of the hand, back and forth. And look how freaking clean that brush is. This thing is like brand spanking new and it had dark ass eyeshadow on it. Look how clean that is. So these are my clean brushes. As you can see, none of them have any stains on them, even this guy on the end right here. That is how I clean my brushes. Hopefully it has helped someone out there maybe find a new soap or just a different method of cleaning their brushes. I like this method a lot, especially me putting the Dr. Bronner soap on the little scrubby. That really gets deep into those brushes that have all that foundation and all that nasty shit just seeped into the brush. So I really, really like this method. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. If you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply just wanna talk shit, leave it all in the comment section below and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.